Hola y bienvenidos a Hola Amigos. Hello friends. Yo soy Claudia. Y yo soy María Olvera. Y yo soy Humpa. Stay with us. We're going to have lots of fun today. Hola Amigos, Hello Friends is a production of the Knowledge Network of Greater Omaha, produced by students in the TV studios of Metropolitan Community College. <laughs> They're doing great. And what about you, Pompón? How are you? Muy bien, gracias, María. Muy bien. ¿Y tú, Claudia? ¿Cómo estás hoy? Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias, María. I am doing so well because I'm excited about today's show. Y yo también, Claudia. I know. Wow. Well, you know, the show is called Hola Amigos, Hello Friends. And if we notice our, you know, today, what we're going to be learning about today. <gasps> Celebrating friendship. Celebrar las amistades. Yay. So we're pretty much celebrating ourselves, all of us. Yes, and because, Maria, I would like to celebrate you porque tú eres mi amiga. You are Ooh. my friend. Y, Pam Pam, I want to celebrar contigo porque tú eres mi amiga. Igualmente, Claudia. Y vos también, Maria. Yes, actually, it's really important to celebrate your friend, to, you know, show that you care about the friendship and that you like to remain as a friend. And we do that in many different ways. Today, we're going to learn what is a good friend. That is so important, Maria. Es muy importante. Mm -hmm. Yo quiero saber. Well, you know, first of all, a good friend will be that person who's a good listener. Oh, that is a very good point. Un buen oyente. Yes, and good listeners show that they are good listeners. You know, when you're a good listener, you can't be looking away from the person who's talking to you. And you should give them eye contact. Like, Pom Pom, I'm noticing you're listening and giving eye contact to Maria. Ah, yo soy un buen amigo. Yes, yes. you are. So you show that you're a good listener if you are maintaining eye contact. And you can also tell if you're a good listener if you actually listen to what was told to you. What? Well, Just kidding, Maria. That's what not to show what a good listener would be. Yes, because you know what? A veces, people could just be talking and you think that you're listening, but you're really not processing what is being told to you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, Pompon? See. Yeah. So then the person goes on and on and on and on, and you, uh huh, yeah, I know what you mean. When you really uh, fall asleep. Oh, pom pom, just like that. Yes. Good example. Muy aburrido. Mm -hmm. Entonces, un amigo es un buen oyente, y un buen oyente en realidad escucha lo que se le está compartiendo. The, a good listener does listen. So, if you think you have a friend, pay attention to whether this person is a good listener. And if you think you're somebody's friend, make sure that you are being a good listener when that person likes to talk to you. Buena razón, Maria. And you know what? Oh, mm. this is so good. Ay, Maria, me gusta mucho ese. Yep. Yep. A good listener is kind. Muy amable. Muy, muy amable. That means that you can't be rude and mean and say, yeah, he's my friend. Uh, does that give you permission to not be kind to the person because you think or you regard that person as your friend? Nope, absolutamente not. No, absolutamente no. No, no, no. So a good friend would be kind to you, won't be rude, won't be... How many other ways are you not kind? Oh, you can be not kind by not saying hello when someone meets you on the bus 
bus or waits for you by the school bus. Si es muy importante para decir hola. What about making fun of you? Would that be kind? No. Look, even Pom Pom knows that's no. not good. No, no es muy bien. Entonces, si eres un buen amigo, no puedes burlarte de tus amigos. Debes ser amable. Debes de quererles. Be kind. A good friend will compliment you. That Ooh. is so true. And Maria, me encanta la bufanda que llevas hoy. Ooh, was that a compliment or what? And when you get a compliment, you say thank you. And you smile. And you say, you know, I got this at a sale. Or, you know, you make a conversation about it. It is not necessary for you to say something nice about the person at that moment because this person is giving you a compliment to you. Es como un regalo. Exactamente, pom -pom. Good pom pom. Wow. It is very good. It is. It's like a verbal gift. Yeah. Sí, un regalo verbal. Muy bien, pom pom. And you know what, pom pom? I've always liked your nose. Oh, Maria, gracias. I bet you get that from your dad. Sí. <laughs> Pompa, are you being shy now? Sí. It's so, and Maria, it's a really good skill to learn how to take a compliment. Mm -hmm. Para recibir. Otra Un halago. Un halago. You should look at the person and say what, Pom Pom? Gracias. You can always smile. And if you think you have to say something else, you can begin a conversation. You know, like, for example, if they say, hey, you have really pretty eyes. Then you smile and say, thank you. I think I get my eyes from my grandma. Great. That's a good conversation, mm -hmm. Maria. So let's take a look at what else would be a good friend, a good friendship. Oh, this is a good one. Un amigo te ayuda por siempre. Oh, yeah. Me gusta mucho porque yo soy un buen amigo. Yo siempre ayudo a mis amigos. A good friend will good job, offer to help. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, if you think you're a friend to someone, be diligent mm -hmm. about whether somebody needs your help mm -hmm. and offer your help. You can say, may I help you? Or you can say, hey, I'll help you carry your backpack because you're on crutches. That's a good one, too. Mm -hmm. Y para también en las escuelas, si alguien está enfermo, mm -hmm. lo puedes ir a la maestra. That's where you can go to the teacher and say, hey, my friend is sick. Can I please have another homework assignment to take to them so they don't get behind? Yes. That would be good helping. Mm -hmm. Ah, buena idea, Claudia. And Thank you. You know, Pum Pum, when you fall off your bike the other day? Sí. And your friend helped you get back up. Ah, sí, mi amigo me ayudó. Qué bien. Yo tengo muchos amigos buenos, María. Mm -hmm. But you also have to be a good friend to others. Yes. And a good friend will respect you. Te respeta un buen amigo. Absolutamente. Absolutely. A good friend respects you no matter what. If you may not agree on everything, mm -hmm. if you may not like the same thing, yep. they respect you in that. So if you guys are going to go out for ice cream and you say, I want chocolate ice cream and your friend wants vanilla ice cream, ice cream you can each get the kind that you want but if the friend doesn't respect you you know this person is gonna ignore your request and just get you whichever thing he or she thinks that you should get so that would be not respecting you right pom pom absolutamente no because it's a signal that they don't care what you like or dislike mm -hmm. so, absolutely yep mm -hmm. so a good friend will respect you and you need to respect your friends as well mm -hmm. and this one pom pom look at that it's two hands holding together it's that really they nice almost hard yeah so this is letting you know that a good friend will be trustworthy. And that's a big word, Maria. What does trustworthy mean? Es confiable. A trustworthy person will be someone that you, if you share something with the person, then you can trust 
that this person would not be telling everybody about Maria, that. Maria, como un secreto? Puede ser como un secreto, Pompón, but it doesn't have to be a secret, you know? It can just be something that was shared with you and that they trusted you with that information. Oh. Yeah. Uh, trustworthy is very, very important because if you are a friend and you were told something that you think could have your friend in danger. Good point, Maria. Then that means that you shouldn't share it, but you should share it with an adult who could probably help. Absolutamente, niños. Puedes ir a tus padres para decir cualquier cosa que te dan tus amigos. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, so be careful. You have to be trustworthy, but also if you receive information that you think could be having your friend in danger, then you do have to report it to an adult, that maybe is, your parents. That is very, very true, Marie. Even if they say, promise me you won't tell, you can say, I promise you I'm going to help you and listen. Te prometo que me voy a escuchar y también ayudar. Yes, so a good friend, let's just review really quickly. Un buen amigo es un buen oyente. Te va a escuchar cuando necesites que alguien te escuche. Un buen amigo es amable. ¿Verdad, Pompón? Absolutamente. Uh -huh. Una persona que es amable te abre la puerta, te trata bien, te habla con cuidado, no te grita, no te insulta, no se, no se burla de ti. They don't make fun of you, they don't yell at you, they have fun with you and they're kind to you. Yep. Very good points. And you know, they probably make a point to spend time with you. Mm -hmm. En una persona que es tu amigo y es un buen amigo, te da halagos. You know, this would be the opposite to putting you down mm -hmm. and, and saying, oh, you know, that's an ugly dress. Oh, that's no. not very kind. Absolutely. That's not very kind. No, es muy amable. If you don't like the dress, you don't have to say anything. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Te da halagos, te habla bien, te dice, hey, qué bonito peinado traes hoy. Oh. Y tú le dices, gracias. Gracias, me peinó mi mamá. O, you know, whatever the case may be. Una persona que es tu amiga te va a ayudar. Por ejemplo, si fueron y jugaron con sus juguetes, te va a ayudar a recoger los juguetes. Oh, absolutely, because you should always put things back to where you found them so they won't be so messy. Yes. Una persona que es tu amiga te va a respetar, no te va a insultar. Hey, te va a decir, hola, ¿cómo estás? Te va a saludar cuando te vea, Pompón. Absolutamente. And I know you do that with your friends, right, Pompón? Sí, y también los padres de mis amigos. That's a very mm -hmm. good point, Pompón. Mom, that shows really good respect. Yes. And then we have the last one. Trustworthy es una persona de confianza, una persona confiable. Someone that you feel free to talk with and that you don't worry that this person is just going to tell everybody else. Absolutely. Y una vez más, si recibes información que quizás tenga a tu amigo o a tu amiga en algún riesgo o daño o algo que le pueda pasar, debes de compartir esa información quizás con tus padres o los padres de tu amigo, pero con un adulto que le pueda ayudar. That's a really good point. I don't you agree, Pom Pom? Sí, absolutamente, María. It's very important for all of our listeners to understand if a friend tells you a secret that could put them in danger, mm -hmm. you absolutely have to tell your mommies or your daddies or another adult that you can trust. Yes, so it's not necessarily to tell all your friends around the school, just someone that is an adult and who will help. Absolutely. Okay, Pompon, so you now see how much work it takes to be a good friend, right? Absolutely, pero yo soy, yo soy un amigo muy buen. Que bueno. And what about you guys? Are you guys good friends? Well, I challenge you to become good friends if you don't think you are, and I congratulate congratulate you for being one if you think you are and celebrate your friendship and I know Pompon you have a party where you're just gonna celebrate your friendship with your friends sí, celebrar las amistades y tu fiesta es hoy verdad sí pues diviértete mucho y muchas nos... gracias María nos vemos la próxima vez quizás le compartes a tus amigos cómo pueden ser mejores amigos ok yo aprendí mucho 
mucho, gracias. Chao, Claudia. Chao, Pom Pom. Have fun celebrating your friendships. Okay, chao, niños. Adios, Pom Pom. Oh, while Pom Pom goes home and celebrates his friendships, we're going to learn about what's the letter of the day. Well, if you've been talking about friendships in Spanish, those are amistades. Oh. Mm. Oh, amistades. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, Amistades, really good letters of the day, I bet would be the letter A. Ah, ah. All right, so let's think about words that start with letter A or letra A. Hmm. What comes to mind? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is something very, very fun to travel in. Oh, well, would you be flying on that? I would. I would be in un avión que empieza con la letra A. Un avión. Muy bien. Y también en inglés, airplane. Y yo estoy pensando en un animal mm. que nos da miel. Ay, pero en español, absolutamente. Una abeja que mm -hmm. empieza con la letra A. A bee. Mm -hmm. And what about my favorite of all? Some Oy. people name it as a fruit and uh. some others as a vegetable because it has the seed in it. So technically it would be a fruit, but usually it's almost used mm. as a vegetable. Es mi comida favorita de todo el mundo. Guacamole has a lot of this. Do you guys know what we're talking about? Un avocado. Avocado. Y también en español. Sí. Empiezo con la letra A. Aguacate. Aguacate. Así es mi oh, favorito. delicioso. Me encanta. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué tal? Oh, algo se me viene a la mente. ¿Qué pasa? Cuando ¿Qué? tú pintas, tomas fotografías, oh. quizás dibujas. Que empieza con la letra A. María, estás hablando de arte. If you're talking about painting and drawing, obviamente tenemos la palabra arte. Mm -hmm. What about, what else could start with letter A? Um, mm -hmm. A ver, estoy pensando en algo. Oh, mira, María, estaba pensando y haciendo. Este se llama en inglés... Arm. arm. Y en español se dice brazo. El arm y el brazo. El arm begins with the letter A. El brazo. Muy bien. Well, I think we have a lot of words with letter A. I think we should trace letter A. I think we should do this too. Let's okay. do it. This is a fun letter to trace. La grande, porque solamente tenemos líneas. Oh. Tres líneas. So this is just going to be three lines, and this is the uppercase letter A. Uno. Una línea. Dos. Y tres. So two vertical lines. Uh, Arriba. Going up, going down, y horizontal. and then a horizontal line. So the two vertical lines have to meet at mm -hmm. Like a little slant, like a, como un ático también. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y la minúscula, un círculo con una línea abajo así, and con una colita. Mm -hmm. In la lowercase middle A, letter A, you have a full circle mm -hmm. and a little tail on the side. Absolutely. Y acá tenemos, ta-da, el A. Muy bien. Vamos a hacer la oración del día. Hmm. ¿Tú sabes qué podemos escribir hoy? Oh, well, we are talking about friendship, la mm -hmm. amistad, María. Well, let's think of that, amistad. And we're talking about celebrating. And it's a good thing to celebrate, so why don't we just put those two together? Ooh, I enjoy celebrating my friendships. Well, that is a perfect sentence to teach our students at home. Let's do that. I enjoy celebrating my friend ships. There you go. Perfect. Y ahora en español. This fruto 
el celebra celebrar celebrar gracias yo disfruto el celebrar mis a mi Goals. Okay. Oh, amistades. Oh, I mean, I was, oh, Maria, I can write it. That's right. Amistad. Es. And amigos would be friends, amistades, friendships. Very good. Hey, we're ready for a game. Oh, me encanta esa parte del show. ¿Y qué tenemos aquí? Un cheque, un X. ¿Por qué, María? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Well, we're going to listen to some scenarios. Vamos a escuchar con mucha atención y vamos a determinar si lo que está pasando sería el comportamiento de un buen amigo o el comportamiento de un mal amigo. This is going to be a good game. So you're going to give me situations mm -hmm. and we're going to decide if it's good behavior of a good friend or if it's bad behavior from a person that wouldn't be your friend then if they're doing this. Wouldn't be a good friend. No, no, no. Okay, vamos a jugar. Vamos a ver qué pare ¿Qué opinas, Claudia? Ok. Tu amigo te contó algo muy personal. Oh, ok. My friend told me something very personal. Y tú se lo contaste a muchas personas más. Oh, and then I went and told a whole lot of other people his secret. Y ahora tu amigo se siente decepcionado de ti. Oh, that would make my friend feel very deceived with me. Mm -hmm. mm, that... Yes, Maria, and we talked about that with Pom Pom. Yeah. If you give me a secret and I go and tell other friends, that's not a good friend at all. That's very deceptive and lying. Mm -hmm. I would put that in the X column, the no. So that wouldn't be a trustworthy friend. Would not be a trustworthy friend if they are no telling sería, friends. No sería un amigo de confianza. No. And he would be disappointed. Yes. Okay, ¿qué tal esta? Uh, you have a lot of things in your hands, okay? Just imagine that. Okay. And you are getting in the school bus. Oh, okay. Okay. Your friend, granted this is somebody you know, is your friend, is seated at the front seat. Okay. So do you think he saw you coming in with all these things on your hands? Yeah. Okay. I think he would have seen me. And says... Hey, you! You sure have a lot to carry. And starts laughing loudly. Oh, that would be awful. Oh, Maria. Do you think that would be a kind friend? No, ese va a ser un amigo muy mal para no me ayuda if he's not going to help me. And that was one of the things we talked about. A good friend siempre te ayuda. A good friend always helps yeah. you. That would really make me sad. So we're going to put that as a bad friend or mm. bad behavior mm. of a friend. Mm. So what do you got? Okay, Maria, here's one for you. Your friend got new shoes and Ooh. you said, hey, those are some very nice shoes. Ooh, I think that's a compliment right there. Un halago por si absolutamente. Buen amigo o mal amigo? Aquí o aquí. Ah, tú has sido un buen amigo. Buen amigo que dan halagos. It gives you compliments. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this is another one. Hmm, let's okay. see if our audience members can get this. Okay, remember, tell me if it's a bad friend or a good friend. You are a bit sad, and your friend says, Hey, I'm here to listen if you want to talk to someone. Oh, that is so nice. That is very hmm. nice. That's being kind, that's being a good listener. Mm -hmm. Someone you can trust. I'm going to ponerlo aquí. Hey, there you go. We have two more to go really quick. Okay. You were telling a story and your friend interrupts What's that? you. What did you say? Oh, 
just like that and says okay 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 who cares about that check this out and goes on to tell a story of his own that is a really good example maria because that is not a good friend who constantly interrupts you or says whatever you have to say is not important is y mira, that respecting you no y no fue un buen oyente que estábamos hablando that claro we were talking no about fue. a good listener waits patiently and the last one cuando llegaste a tu salón que okay, your classroom mm -hmm. saludaste a tu amigo de esta manera hola daniel cómo te sientes hoy <gasps> Oh, so a friend comes into my classroom and says, hi, how are you feeling today? That would be a very good friend because they want to know how I'm doing. Yes, and remember, good friends are kind, amables, amables. te respetan, te saludan. Mm -hmm. Hey, so once that you've determined that you are a good friend or that you like to be a better friend or that you have amazing friends, you have to celebrate them. And something very simple as a lollipop can make their day. And you can even put a cape just with construction paper like this like a hero yes and you can write on it you can write on it um you can say hey you are a hero friend i like that a hero friend and then you put it in here and make sure that you make the mask of the hero that would go with the lollipop. Oh, this is wonderful. And you know what, ¿Sí? Maria? One of the things I learned how to spell mm -hmm. friend. Yeah. Mira, si puede fijar aquí para escribir un friend. A friend will be with you to the very end. Yep. Y por eso tengo F -R -E. A and not F R E I because a friend will be with you to the very end. Es como escribir la palabra friend. Yes, so okay. be kind to your friends and this would be a way to celebrate your friends just to give them a little bit of a token of oh, your appreciation. Oh, that is so much fun. Look at this. We have little hero, superhero masks. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can do this with construction paper and you can write anything that you like on it. You can do any colors that you think would be nice combination and you can go ahead and give it to your friend. Hey, Maria, Claudia, you're, you're a superhero friend oh maria oh. you're so kind thank you so much and i'm gonna give one to you too because you are my friend to the very end oh. maria all you gotta do is use construction paper you make your cape then you will make a hole to the cape so you can put it through the popsicle and you have to make the mask and then you can write a message here like hey thank you for being an amazing friend and you know what it kind of looks like the letter a the cape if we just were to draw it right here and like that you can just cut it oh maria this has been so much fun i've learned so much on how to be a great friend should we say goodbye to all of our amigos let's do it together let's sing the song adios amigos goodbye my friends, we had fun. We hope to see you again. Hola Amigos, Hello Friends is a production of the Knowledge Network of Greater Omaha, produced by students in the TV studios of Metropolitan Community College.